Hey guys, you see we have a date today. You see the balloons? Yeah, we've got Valentine's Day. And uh, Rick, will you be my Valentine? Of course. Well, I'm you. already uh, your Valentine. <laughs> But uh, no, guys, we're actually not alone here. Look who, who's here, Helena. Helena. Helena, my friend. Uh -huh. We gotta give Helena a mic. Yes. How are hello, you doing? Hello. Hello. I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, Helena and Jenya were talking. Jenya, yes. say hello. Hello. I, to whom? To, ev every, to everyone. All the world. Uh, yeah. This is birthday. For, for birthday, Je it's Jenny's yes. birthday today. Jenny, happy birthday! Oh, yeah. happy birthday to me! Thank you very much. Uh, so we're having this meeting. You know, sorry to interrupt you guys. It's okay. I just wanted to record that video. You know how how it happens. Uh, always uh, interrupting and and starting making videos here together with Greg. He does that too. Uh, <laughs> you you basically live with him. You know. <laughs> so, yeah, you know it, this is how it happens. You know, you meet other volunteer. Mm -hmm. And we were discussing hemostatic, the bandages, the other stuff, red tape stuff, all this situation. And uh, and you know what? And I'm showing my family now. <laughs> Classics. <laughs> Sorry, that is like a little bit like a moment of reality, how it works. <laughs> yeah. mm, guys, I wanted to uh, ask you to sign my flag because you didn't do that, uh, right? I was uh, signing flags for you, but you never signed mine. So you gotta ask. Uh, you gotta say, sign me a flag today. That's first thing. Uh, second thing I wanted to do is to give you a gift, Jenya. Uh, this is for your birthday. This is a this is a berry monkey from Australia. Sorry, uh, from Berry Monday and his mom. Uh, and hello, Hi, Ross. My name's Ross. Yeah, from it's Ross. Nice to meet you. And here's Johnny Pierce. Hey. He's with us. Uh, Hi, people. Johnny, you need a mic. Do I? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so just a second, Johnny. Uh, so, Barry Mon Mundy should uh, go into your car and uh, save you guys out there. He's a talisman. He's a... How do you call them? Uh, no, no, you have an, an American word for that. Uh, mascot. For the mascot. 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 Yes, mascot. I'll, I'll do the American language Thank you. for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's always correcting my... Yeah, so uh, this mascot, I want, uh, want him to protect you in your travels. So uh, this is also from Barry's mom. She's a lovely lady who sews them, sends them to me, and I give them. I still don't didn't give you one, Alina, right? I still didn't give you one. It will be in our truck. It should be fixed. It'll be it'll be in our truck, oh, and it will be shown in the video. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you, guys. Thank awesome. You. Okay. Uh, thank you. So oh, I pleasure. One more friend. One more friend. Yeah, and it's a good cool. team member. Yeah. Happy birthday, my friend. <laughs> well, because that team member doesn't talk back. He just rides with us. That's a perfect team member. Perfect team <laughs> So, <coughs> Johnny, Johnny was uh, with the mic here. And Johnny, I wanted... Oh, that's a candle here, guys. We Don't forget, we have, we're have we having a date here. So It's Valentine's night, and, and I'm everything. feeling quite romantic. <laughs> don't tell my partner. I, I won't. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to ask you... Uh, how did you like this experience? You're going to be heading home soon, and I think this was life-changing. Uh, but you got to confirm. <laughs> so yeah, it's interesting. I've just been asked this question, and and I wanted to say it's been an enjoyable experience. But the problem with enjoyable, it's not quite the right word when you're talking about a, a, a war zone, right? When you're talking about visiting people on the front line. So I guess rewarding, like the enjoyment has been in in friendship and in in working together as a team to do things that are really meaningful and the kind of, you enjoy doing that it's, it's fulfilling but also giving joy to people as well like we could turn up to units where like they don't know me I, I haven't given them any aid particularly myself like it's just sometimes it's a lot of networking that, that Greg and Jenny do mm -hmm. so you're having to do a lot of groundwork in meeting people continually meeting them even if you're not dropping off aid you're seeing them and keeping that friendship and communication going and so I'm there as this extra random bloke. And the joy that they have in seeing someone invested in their war and supporting their war and, and being bothered enough to come to their country it means that they, they are totally taken aback and you know they're giving me presents that I haven't earned. Do you know what I mean? And and they, mm -hmm. they're, they're treating me like beautifully. It's just and that there's an enjoyment in that. There's this shared 
um, camaraderie and friendship and, and we all we all understand the good and proper and right cause of the Ukrainians here. Mm-hmm. So it's been very rewarding. It's been challenging, like seeing the things that we see, that we've seen and, you know, understanding the challenges the Ukrainians have, that the country has. I've, I've, I've got to have an experience of the things that I've been thinking and talking about, but having that first-hand experience, speaking to people. So in, in history, we call this a, a primary source. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like these people are primary sources for me to get my information so I can relay that to my own audience. So I'm the secondary source, but it's usually I'm, I'm out back in the UK, like on my computer, and I'm getting all my information from the internet. Mm-hmm sometimes from interviews but here I am meeting people I'm at the front line or near the front line and I'm yeah. speaking and seeing things that I could never have done before so and it's been incredible I Sorry. think you also got the experience like um, the personal experience in details like for example uh, you have heard the real incomes uh, incomings and outcomings of the shells right uh, that stuff Uh, you've been there on the roads in cold and uh, you've been actually traveling along the front lines you know uh, now some of the soldiers uh, you had to hear something from them as from primary sources as, as you've told me so it's all I think it's all about the details it's all about seeing and experiencing all of it with your own eyes and I think um, and is like you say like listening to the sound of incoming and outgoing artillery mm-hmm. is an incredible experience right yes. it's not something I ever thought I would have would have um, experienced before and yeah so yeah mm, I'm so grateful for you uh, for you to you to you probably for coming here and I wanna I wanna also uh, say thank you for wearing uh, my patches which I have given you on your body armor I was watching that video uh, that was so cool and it was an honor for me really seeing you out there close to the front line really close like it was uh, so we at were, some point it's like, we were like I don't want to give too much away but we were just a few kilometers away from from the grey zone, but from basically Nipro River, we were really close, and yeah, so you yeah. know it was it was pretty hairy stuff. Yeah, but yeah so, so I got to wear your patches, and it made me think, man, I need to design me some patches, some ATP yeah, geopolitics yeah, patches. I love that. Uh, I have actually a great opportunity for you. You can join NAFO 69 Sniffing Brigade fundraisers, and they will make those patches for you. Yes, they do that. That's how I got mine. I joined them. Uh, they provide you uh, basically uh, gotta do what you gotta start a fundraiser for the NAFO truck with them, uh, and they will do all the job, all the work. All you ha- you have to do is to promote your own campaign, and your people will donate. They uh, will you'll uh, raise money for one truck for the fir- for your first truck guys in just a few days. Believe me. You have a massive community of supporters who want to donate to Ukraine and this is going to be something that you'll be able actually to uh, feel with your own hands probably even coming to Ukraine again and uh, sitting into the truck you see uh, there are handout events, you remember videos from my channel and also from 69 Symphony Brigade and different other channels. Uh, a lot of people contribute to that. But I think your community could have joined that one. What do you think about this? Well, it's interesting. I've, I've just written an article on uh, crowdfunding the war. So the article was literally called Crowdfunding War, mm-hmm. um, Fighting Against Autocracy or something like that. So the article was about how so much equipment, and we were delivering equipment to units mm-hmm. on the front line, that was not funded by the central government, not funded by the army. You'd never expect that in another country. Like, I'd say, if, if America went to war, you, you wouldn't expect to crowdfund equipment for troops on the front line, right? It's, it's a mm-hmm. bizarre thing. So how is that happening here? Why is that happening? And, and what's happening? And, and I, I wrote a lot about trucks, actually. And what's really interesting, dri- driving out on the road, I've just done probably 4,000 kilometers in, in a loop around mm-hmm. the front lines. And, and so many trucks are foreign trucks. 
most of them are British actually, or really? the majority of the foreign trucks are British. Uh, we've seen Irish, Lithuanian, po you know, loads of trucks that have come from Europe that have been donated. And so this is, you know it's a really important thing that they are using them, it's vital. So we spoke to a unit up in Sumi and they said, 100% of their vehicles were, were fundraised. 100% of all their vehicles in the whole unit. So it's a, it makes a difference. As far as myself being involved in that, I mean, we're, we're already involved in our own uh, fundraiser. So, I mean, the challenge is trying to manage all these different different fundraising things. And I always think, you know, there's, there's, there's only so many like people, I, I always I worry about exhausting the audience in terms of fundraising. And Believe I'm me, they want to help and uh, I, I think the same, always, like, oh my god, uh, I, I'm talking to myself sometimes and I yeah. say, Rick, oh my god, it's a third fundraiser in a week, you've, you've uh, helping with uh, people who, who are in need and people are probably exhausted and they, they can't donate anymore. And I start that, and people donate even more. They amaze there me. You, uh, you amaze me, guys. <laughs> um, awesome guys. Awesome, awesome guys. So, uh, if you're willing to join the yeah, NAFO truck... I, I will uh, definitely look into that, for sure. I will create a chat. It's easy. I will help you with that. No problem. Like, I already know the guys. We're starting the campaign for our fourth truck in a few days. And you can do yours... Uh, do just one for for now uh, see how it works uh, and uh, i'm sure you people will also like it because first of all they're going to be able to support our army with something uh, exact like uh, it's the sum of money it's eighteen thousand euros uh, with and it, it's not just a car it's a car with tires uh, with electronic warfare device uh, yeah, which is basically around 2,000 euros. Before that, uh, NAFO trucks were 16,000 euros. Now they are 18,000 euros thanks to that electronic warfare device. Uh, you'll have a night vision camera installed on that car also. You have a good maintenance, painting, all of that. So, And the cars, they are from 2011 minimum. You won't find an older car. And most of them are like 2014, 2015. So those, those cars are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that, that's an Estonian volunteering organization, 69th Sniffing Brigade from NAFO. Yeah. They are, uh, Ragnar Sass is their head. And uh, they've done a tremendous job uh, in this. For the last two years, they've provided almost 200 and, s oh no, 300 trucks. I was about to say 270, but still, it's already 300. So. Um, that's, that was a spontaneous advertising for NAFO 69 Sniffer Brigade. <laughs> Sorry if, I, it was, if it was too much, but I really think your community could join uh, the, this initiative because it's just amazing. So we have a raccoon here, uh, the raccoon man himself. Yeah, the raccoon is here, raccoon. King Raccoon. King Raccoon. And, uh, so and where, is, where is the raccoon today? He's in, he's in Keith. Why, why not the raccoon voice? Uh, I'm not a master of that yet, but I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so Johnny, I want to ask you to sign me a flag. I'd My be, flag. I'd be uh, honored to. Thank you. Then please hold this. I will. And please speak to our audience. Uh, yeah, you can hold this. Awesome. Yep, uh, please. please. I, I've always wanted one of these thingy jigs. Like, oh my goodness, look, as I move that, it keeps yeah. it level. <laughs> this is technology, goodness me. The floor here. This, <laughs> this is not interesting for you at all, but at uh, the moment. Just wow. a second, I'm uh, staying hydrated first, and then I'm going for the marker. D <laughs> don't don't mind, mind me, I'll just keep talking. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's been an absolute pleasure to not only. Um, Join Greg and Jenya and Pierre on a on a trip around the front lines, a loop of the front lines, but also to meet Rick both at the beginning and now at the end of, of that trip. Uh, it's been really, as I say, rewarding, worthwhile. Uh, a lot of a lot of great people met, just fighting for such a, a, an important cause that will affect us all, um, is affecting us. 
it's so important that we get this right, and I, I do worry that we're not quite getting it right politically speaking. Oh. Anyway, that's that's a discussion for another day. So I've got to find some space on this bad boy. Yeah. A lot of yeah, I found you some space here. And I don't think I've held this very well. My arms are getting weak. <laughs> so this is. This is my personal flag, which I'm asking everyone to sign. Uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think while I'm alive, I'm gonna auction these guys. Only when I'm dead, uh, my mm, descendants—is it the word—will <laughs> auction this. <laughs> so, uh, please, uh, my friend Johnny, uh, put your signature here. Maybe a few words, anything you want. So. Uh, there you go. It's goofy today. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm honored, to be honest, and I really admire you, my friend, for for doing this. Uh, especially considering MS, that's a challenge. Yeah. And uh, I I think you you're really brave and. Really, mm, you're a fighter, man. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for I, signing. This. I, I fight in my own very poor way to support those who are fighting properly on the front line. Mm -hmm. But this is this is very very cool. So, I've written just for your audience. Big love to my Ukrainian brother. Brackets S because it's not just you, but you're the you're you're my main Ukrainian brother, <laughs> uh, Johnny from ATG, ATG ATP Geopolitics. Thank you very much, my friend. Let me shake your hand. Yes, thank you. Uh, also, I need Greg's. I think Greg uh, haven't signed it for me no, ever. No, I need to sign it. Awesome. Are you visiting the loop? No, he's visiting no, no. the loop. I'm learning all the uh, proper British. Place this under the yes. flag to not oh, make we've mistake. learned our lesson. We've learned, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, for the blue side, I have a white marker. I'm gonna give you one. All right, I'm signing the blue side. Okay. Let me do this here. Is your personal? Yeah. So first of all, it's an honor to sign Rick's flag, and I'm not going anywhere. I'll be spending much more time with Rick here in Ukraine, but today I get to sign the flag, so I'm signing on the on the blue. And uh, by the way, guys, I still haven't shown you that we have Anton here with us today. Anton Hala, or have I? No, you were smoking when I started the video yeah. again because yeah. that one was was not oh, okay. working. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, good, good. It's uh, good to be here with you, Rick. So um, thank you for uh, for your uh, how to say it in English. I forgot the word for invitation. I guess? Invitation. Uh, maybe arrangement of this yeah, meeting or something yeah. like that. Mm, yeah, man. I'm I'm really happy that we had had the opportunity to do this. These guys are sometimes. Uh, hard to catch. I was trying to arrange this meeting for about uh, three weeks already. That. <laughs> you managed to do this, so. But yeah, I managed to do this. Mm, and I'm, I'm happy that you have uh, new friends that are very helping and you will you'll be sure of that. Oh, so this marker is not really working, right? No, I've got to go back to the yellow. You Go have a little Slavo Ukraini at the top. Awesome, thank so you. So we're going to go right here. You have the space there. And I'm going to do... Guys. No, I'm going to go bottom corner Greg's here. Anton, you yeah. help me just hold that right yeah, there? Sure. Okay, so we're just going to go... Um, with... Thank you. <laughs> when we go into the field Russians, I guess you need to work on logistics or something. You can arrange meetings, yeah. um, transferring, logistic, warehouse. Yeah, you mean if I join the Organizing, army? Organizing, like... Yeah? Or what do you mean? I mean like after the war, when after are you going war. to win? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, well, I actually have my YouTube channel. YouTube channel, why should I work on the warehouse logistics? <laughs> <laughs> and also true. <laughs> okay, now, so... I'm, I'm dropping... Oh. I'm going ahead and I'm writing in Ukrainian. Do Peramoga. 
It's good enough for a third grader in Ukrainian. Um, with, with, with all love and honor. And Welcome? No, we. <laughs> we, we stand together. We stand together. Now my signature. Mm. There you go. Thank you, Rick. That's a beautiful signature. I appreciate that. I was working on it for three or four weeks, just preparing to sign your flag. <laughs> and uh, I've got it nailed down perfectly. Um, Rick, thank you for all that you do. So many connections, so many relationships. For example, the new relationships here with Anton and um, Galina. And it's just, and listen, what I think everybody needs to see right now is, so you see Genia over here building the relationship, and I'm sitting here with Anton and you, and Johnny's over here talking with Ross, and you know, what you guys need to understand is, and I think this is the greatest demonstration, this is how you win the war. Of course, there's major things that have to happen. We've been having wonderful uh, political discussions and debates with Anton, and Johnny, it's been wonderful, but the reality is grassroots level, grassroots efforts, this is how you win. You build relationships, you build friendships, you coordinate. Now Jania's working, on, we got those relationships set. I, I wanna get Anton on the channel one night we talk about politics. He's, he's got such great insight. Well, all it's gonna do is continue to spread the, the, the camaraderie and the teamwork and all of the things that we do together as a global community. Yes, Rick, you know, the Ukrainian, you, you, you have your channel, Johnny has his, Dr. Gerdes, myself, but really, we're all one big family working together to stand together to support Ukraine. And I'll be honest with you, I think we're doing a great job, but we're nowhere near finished. Oh, yeah. We're just getting started, and um, as I like to tell the guys, wherever I go on the front lines, the best is yet to come. Because there may be dark nights, there may be difficult battles, there may be struggles, and to be quite honest with all of you, and Rick, I don't know when you'll be showing this, but the last few days have been very difficult for the Ukrainian army, but it's not over. There are ups and there are downs. We need to stand with our heroes. We need to support them. We need to provide for them. We need to encourage them. And we need the world to stand up. And this is how it happens. So make sure you share this. You tell others. You, you, you do everything that you possibly can do to uh, do your part. We'll do our part. And together, we'll, uh, we'll have success and victory. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Rick. Thank you guys, thank you Greg. Uh, I'm wondering if I should finish the video. It's 22 minutes already, but it's a great video. You know, you know, one of the things that I really appreciate about Rick, there's two things I appreciate about Rick, Anton. The first one is his transparency. Oh yeah. Okay, lots of donations come through Rick's channel and what I so appreciate about it, you know, Rick, you don't have an, an NGO, right? You, you yeah. do this personally and transparently and it's just a testament to you and your character. Yeah. Um, we have an NGO here, we have an NGO in the U.S., it's 501c3, all of that stuff. So we have you know, organizations and, and all the things that we have to deal with. And, and you can move a lot of support and aid, but there's also, you've got to do everything properly for the nonprofits. Yeah, yeah. And, and that works well as also. So we have a little bit of everything. So I appreciate your transparency uh, massively. But the other thing that I appreciate about Rick is his, his use of the English language. What I love to watch Rick stream, not when I'm on it, okay? I like just watching it. I mean, I love being on it with him, but I like it when I watch it because this is what Rick does. He talks to himself in English. He goes, he's looking at the phone there and he goes, well, you know, the stream's already 22 minutes long. I'm wondering if I should do something else. And then that's what he does every live stream. Like, I'm wondering what word I'm thinking about. So I just... Dude, you don't understand. For for native English speakers, we really like that. Where you're actually trying to think and get the right word and get the right meaning, it's it's awesome. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for pointing that out. That's yeah. so cool. Now you're gonna have a problem every time you're streaming. Now you're gonna go. Oh, I just asked myself a question. <laughs> <laughs> You've put an inception yeah. into it. So yeah. even transparent with. Your with how thoughts. he's thinking, yes, yeah, yeah, Anton. Yeah, yeah. Even so like not only out, 
outsource, but also inside, outside, inside. So yes, very like completely transparent. The yeah. reality is, you're right. That's exactly right. Yeah. He's even transparent how he's thinking. Yeah. So um, you know, I, I just, I highly respect this dude right here. Highly. Yeah, he's doing amazing, yeah. amazing work, and uh, I was in the beginning of his initial thoughts to create a channel mm -hmm. so I saw how he mm, thought about it how he trying to find the, the formation and uh, format uh, yeah I mean like formation yeah yeah proper what is going to be format of mm -hmm. what he want to say to more than what he wants the to structure share. of it uh, mm -hmm. not only a structure of a channel uh, in general, what he wants to do, mm -hmm. what my message is. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what, what yeah, is yeah. What's yeah, your yeah. thought, what's your message, how do you want to open your words and messages, what you want to say, how you want to say it. And I thought that uh, I saw how you like doing this conversation initial with yourself and trying to find the way how to do what you're doing right now. And I really enjoy and uh, inspired with you mm -hmm. with the work what you're doing right now so it's awesome and it's really powerful and the path that you pass from the beginning mm -hmm. to right now the and growth, you see a perspective the of your mm -hmm. growth even more it's amazing and you really inspire a lot of people so how much is a good work how, how much money is he gonna pay us I would like for to saying all these hug nice him. things now, Maybe but my $5 hands are occupied. For saying all these nice things. Okay, yeah, we need a coffee, Rick. After saying all those. <laughs> I'm gonna nice buy. Things. I'm gonna buy you a commercial. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. guys. So send me a buy me a coffee. So yeah. I'll buy so you. So he can coffee. buy us a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but I can buy you a real one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everybody. It's, thank it's, you, my friend. Yeah. This was really warm uh, words, yeah. and uh, I would love to hug you. Uh, but I'll do it in a few minutes when I'm fin I'll finish this video. <laughs> I do it actually every time we meet. I, I like to hug people, so I hug. Uh, it, you know, a lot of, for people that do not know, and you're 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 watching from other nations. It's really cultural here. You, you give that handshake and you give that hug, and it shows the the care that Ukrainians and even I'm I'm an American here have. For each, uh, just as people have for each other, it, it's not a, it's it's not a culture that is divided and 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 cold. Mm -hmm. and it's it's family atmosphere here, and yeah, it's real Ukraine. Yeah, you can meet a stranger on the street, uh, talk a few words with them, and then at some point you may hug. Yeah, uh, and of course consensually. Yeah, but yeah, that may happen in Ukraine. Absolutely, 100%. You feel like you've known. I like Anton and I just met. Oh, we're instant friends. Oh, thank you. Instant friends, and it's like I've known him forever, and now we will be. We come through Kiev, we'll grab a cup of coffee, Anton. Okay, that's the way it works. So yeah. it's but awesome. It also um, speaks a lot about you, Greg, because you're such a person that is uh, easy going uh, mm -hmm. to become friends with good people, and I'm acquainting you only with good people. Yes, so, you are. Thank uh, you. Naturally, you'll become friends with all of them. So. Well, I, I believe. It, you know, I appreciate that. But the reality is, Rick, I believe in Ukraine. And I believe that the world uh, is just learning about Ukraine. I, I, I'm, <laughs> and, and the real Ukraine, the real culture, and the real people, and, and the uh, genuineness of just, like, I don't know how to better say it. It's just good people. I, mean, I think it's as complimentary as I can be. It's good people. People. In American English, that's a powerful statement. You're good people. And the world needs to know that we're investing, and that's not only just money, but love and care and support and, and telling the truth in good people. And that's, that's the best thing to do. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we love to see you here joining us, Hala, and thank you, Greg. Um, how do you like the meeting? Do you oh, like good! Speaking? It's a wonderful people, wonderful heroes. Yes, I like it. <laughs> awesome! Uh, I'm very happy that we have met here today, and we all uh, got here today. 
uh, and I still don't don't fold it too much because we're we're gonna I'm gonna ask Pierre also to sign it and Genia. Thank you. Um, okay, so basically I was I was wanting to say that I'm grateful to you, Hala, for all your work, for your inspiration, for your uh, amazing example because you taught me a lot. Oh, <laughs> sorry Thank for being uh, that mm, touching and emotional spontaneously. <laughs> Um, He's a wonderful, yeah. <laughs> thank you for your support. Yeah, thank you guys. You support Halia a lot and um, without you it, it would be much, much harder. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Uh, I also want to speak to... to whom? To Pierre a bit? There he uh, goes again. I want to speak to... I want to speak... To whom do I want to speak? Yeah, yeah. It's just that transparent thought. Yeah, so I like, you nailed it, Anton. You nailed it, buddy. That, that's <laughs> typical me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to Pierre and talk to him yeah, for a yeah, bit. Yeah. He was uh, asking, be my second, uh, how do you call it? Second number here. Uh, yeah. Hold the second mic. Hello. Can you please sign it for me, Genio? Uh, please, and Pierre also. Yeah, this thing beneath. Pierre, I would love to have your sign on this one. Yeah, this is mine. This is mine. You see that yeah. Loki there on my cat? He also signed it. <laughs> uh, so, Hala, you're here with me. Uh, and I don't know, I'm just happy to be here today. And I'm happy that we have our army standing for us. This is why we support uh, our army because we understand we, that thanks to them all of this is possible. Yes. It's possible to sit here and have a decent meal uh, instead of sitting somewhere in possible the forest. Possible sleeping yeah. in the bed. Uh, yeah, also sleeping in the bed uh, and well, uh, without, without our army friend. we would be probably partisans, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying sitting, sitting somewhere in the forest uh, in a dugout, in a trench, hiding from the Nazi forces, uh, going through the forest. Kriyuka. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So, yeah, without without uh, the brave defenders of our army, we would be uh, either dead or somewhere hiding, uh, because I don't think we could have could have lived under Russian occupation. No, couldn't live. But what but, would you do? Uh, if if I will uh, be yes mm -hmm. in occupation, <laughs> I I am dead. But first of all, I am kill it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So maybe one. You'll, you'll make <laughs> maybe sure. Maybe two occupant. You ma you'll make sure to take one or two occupiers with you when when you're dead. Okay, got it. Because it, it's not live. Okay, Zhenya is holding the mic to give to give it back to me, but he decided to also. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> to also make a photo of me making a video. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Why not? Hala, uh, you, you had a great conversation there, I yes. see. Yes, um, yes, I mean, it's, a, it's the huge, uh, huge honor to that person. <laughs> and yeah. huge honor and like, she I don't know, all, all the people support Helena, please. Yeah, she needs that. Oh, yeah. and support you, Gany. <laughs> he needs to. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, what about uh, Rick? <laughs> what about Rick? Hey, guys, Pierre is signing me a flag. Thank you, Pierre. Very badly, Rick. Well, By the way, how much did you pay him? Is this going to be a happy face? To sign the flag? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good joke, but I, just, I, I don't know how to react. So. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> just forget. Never mind. Did you wish on your uh, happy birthday? Mm, what? Yeah, you said you Yeah, you wish me that. Yeah. Awesome. I, I need to check it. I need yeah, to check I've it. I've done okay. mine part. Okay, guys, I think we gotta end this video because it's been 33 minutes already. Barry, Monday's gonna go to. Yeah, it's gonna go. Thank there, you, by the way. To one the more front time. Line. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We love you and Slava Ukraine. Hero and Slava.